Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we could go over very beginner, very general, very basic dining etiquette. If you're new here, you may not know, my name is Nicole and I have been on a little bit of a level up journey this year. And I did take Anna Bay's program, Secrets of the Elite Women. And for me, that was my entry into the world of etiquette, the world of leveling up and just being on a bit of a journey. I want to talk a little bit about dining etiquette today. This isn't gonna be dining etiquette over a certain type of wine or a certain type of tea or a certain type of food. It's really gonna be just the general basic things that I've learned. One of the things I'm enjoying the most on this journey is connecting with others that are on a journey themselves. And I think at the end of the day, the people that already have the etiquette nailed down pat, they're excelling at it, aren't the people that are going to be looking at videos like this. So for me, being able to come here and share this journey with you all, I'm finding that a lot of you are on the journey as well and we're able to bounce ideas off of each other, grow with one another and yeah, just kind of find a little community that values these things too. So if that sounds like you, I would love if you press the subscribe button and just join this little tiny minute community. So as I mentioned, I'm not gonna be going over into a certain type of etiquette for tea or a certain type of etiquette for wine. I am fully aware that this is a red wine glass and you know, if I put white wine in it, that would be wrong. Equally, I've got a tiered tray here I'm very aware that this isn't typical of what an English afternoon tea would be served with, uh, but I mean, I did try to make finger sandwiches, <laughs> but I didn't have everything on hand, but that's not the point that I'm trying to get across with this. I thought I could sit down and talk with you about some of these basic general dining etiquette rules because a lot of us are going out to eat a lot of us are coming like going over to people's homes or people are coming over to us and that was this turning point for me on this journey when i first went through the program i didn't really enjoy the etiquette portion but as the months have progressed i've really noticed there are things that i have picked up on in learning little tips and tricks and little pieces of etiquette that I do feel serves me now in the real world. And I may not have all of it down pat, of course I know I don't have all of it down pat, but little by little, I'm implementing things one at a time. Let's talk about a platter like this. It might not look like this all the time at the holidays, but usually there will be some type of plated food that you're sharing from. Uh, and there might be, you know, sweet food, there might be savory food, etc. I have a mashup of different types of foods here. I've got some finger sandwiches, I've got some mince pies, and then I've got some like warm, warm hors d'oeuvre type of dishes. Now, again, I'm not going to be going over, you know, how to eat specifically a mince pie or how to eat specifically a finger sandwich. I probably will do a tutorial on how to make a English afternoon tea over on my homemaking and vlog channel. It's always linked for you in the description box. But today I thought we could talk about two things. One, how to eat some type of cake in a manner that's a little bit more appropriate and then how to take from a shared plate like this. So this is what I've learned and I've been loving sharing it with you all is is that if you are going to be taking something from from a shared plate like this you're not going to want to just take it from the plate and then eat it you're going to want to take it from the, the shared plate and then put it on your plate and then eat it this is one of the etiquette rules that I feel like it's more so pomp and circumstance than it is actual function, if that makes sense. But you would never walk over to somebody's plate and then just go eat the food off of, off of their plate, unless it was like, you know, you really shouldn't even be doing it if it's someone in your own home. But, you know, that would be quite bold to just go over to somebody's plate and pick up off their plate and eat from it. 
Well, this type of plate situation is gonna be no different. So if you are looking at taking some food off of a shared plate like this, you're going to want to just pick it up, <laughs> if it doesn't fall apart, and put it on your plate. And then, if I didn't have this stuff in the way, <laughs> and then you would then just take a bite from it from your plate. Easy, right? Okay, so we know how to eat from the plate. We don't just take it from the plate and put it in our mouth. We put it on our plate or a napkin or whatever dish it is that we may be using. Now, let's talk a little bit about the sweet dishes. Now, I just got some mince pies here. This may go over well, it may not, but this is what I've learned with more cakes or cupcakes, you can do it the same way, but basically anytime you're using a fork, instead of going in with the prong first, like this, you're going to want to take the fork on the side and then just go down like this. So this is probably not the best pastry to do it with because sometimes they can be a little bit hard. But as you can see, it worked great. And then I'm just going to do it again to give it a more bite-sized piece. So again, instead of using the prong to bite into it, you're going to use the side. There we are. All right, ladies, that is it on my little dining etiquette series. What did you think about learning how to eat a mince pie or a sweet treat properly with a fork? Are you a prong it type of person or do you use the side of the fork to kind of cut into what you are eating? Do you eat from straight from the dish or do you put it on the plate or the napkin that you are eating from? Be honest, we're all looking to grow and learn here. I would love to know if this is something that you implement in your day-to-day -day life, or do you just think it's a bunch of, I was gonna say something inappropriate. <laughs> but we're all learning, right? But do you, do you just think that it's a bunch of like stupid rules that don't matter? I'm starting to think that they actually matter. The more and more like I go on, I'm really starting to think that they matter, and maybe you do too. Thank you so much for watching. I do have videos going out all over the holiday period, so even though we are coming up to Christmas here, I'll still have some content out for you. I would be so grateful if you continued to watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.